I'm leading a teacher training right now. We just last weekend had the conversation about student teacher relationship, the dynamic power transference, all those archetypes that come up when you're taking the the seat of the teacher and understanding that just inherently when you walk in the room as a teacher, there is a power differential. And what I'm seeing, at least in the Portland scene, I'd be curious to hear what you're seeing where you are in the world is it's almost like this pendulum swing in the opposite direction where teachers and students really do have a friendship outside of the yoga room. It's much more casual. And I wonder what you're seeing in your realms of teaching in your areas of the world. In the Buddhist world in the West, I think it's actually directly flipped in a sense. It used to be a lot more casual and there wasn't always a lot of ethical precepts or or clarity of rules in a lot of communities, especially in the more guru-centric communities in the Buddhist world where the teacher is given a lot of spiritual authority. When yoga, teachers take each other's classes, so you could really look up to someone. You could also just be mutually studying in a more camaraderie or collegial way with each other. So to some degree, there was knowledge that it had happened in the past, but there were revelations that really rattled everyone. And the other part about being a teacher is I think it's really important to view being a teacher as a role, not an identity. 